What's going on guys? Today I have another AI tool that'll help you with presentations in your office. This one is called Dectopus and since I started using it, I have to say it's pretty much my favorite so far. I'm gonna use Dectopus to create simple presentations that you could automatically download into the PPT format for your PowerPoint. No need to copy and paste anymore. We're just going to go ahead and create this and download and open in Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how I do it and it won't take too long. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to come to the top is and you're going to go ahead and select get started to create your account. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and sign up with my Google account. Once you get to your dashboard, here is your deck. I'm not really gonna go into how Dictopus works or you know all the features. This is everything that I know so far. This is everything that I've used. Um, there's not really much to it. You can start a presentation by using these templates here, but for today's video, I am gonna go ahead and start from scratch. Um, in a way, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new presentation here. Then it gives you these three options. You can either start from scratch, which I'm not going to do. That's what I did this for. Starting from scratch, you're basically building your presentation from the floor up, just like you would in PowerPoint. If I wanted to build it from the floor up, I would use PowerPoint. Or I can use a template here um, that is preloaded. The templates are okay. And we're just going to go ahead and use Dictopus AI. That's what we're here for is to utilize this AI tool for purpose of getting these presentations done in a blink of an eye instead of a week or two. Okay. So let's go ahead and click use Dictopus. So what's your presentation about? This is the cool thing. So Dictopus asks you these questions prior to it building your presentation. Tome.app, it just asks you what is your presentation about and that's it and it creates it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use ChatGPT to give me a, a, some topics here for uh, this presentation. Here we go. AI and cybersecurity, it's a topic that I know every business um, talks about so it's something that I like to also talk about so let's go ahead and copy and paste that let's close this time here let's close the presentation and go ahead and add that here all right ai and cybersecurity protecting corporate information in a digital age that's what my presentation is about let's get started all right who is my audience great question corporate executives and decision makers IT professionals and cybersecurity experts, business owners and entrepreneurs, students and educators in technology and cybersecurity, government officials and poly. Let's go ahead and educate executives and decision makers. Let them know that this is where we want to go and we want to use AI from here on out. So click next. Now, what's your aim for this tech? to educate the audience on the potential risk and threats to corporate information in the digital age, to demonstrate how AI can be used to enhance cybersecurity measures and protect against these risks and threats. I really like that. I'm not even gonna read the third one. Let's just go. How long do you have for your presentation? Usually I give about 30 minute presentations, 30 to 45 minute presentations, give them about 15 minutes for Q and A. But for this presentation, let's go ahead and click on the 25 minute. And I want to give it a creative template. So it gives you the option to choose from these four templates. I want to see the creative template and see how that looks because I used that logo dark before um, for that last presentation or that logo formal, I think it was. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and once you're ready, you just go ahead and generate the presentation and that is it. You just sit back and relax, go grab a cup of coffee, take a sip of your water because I match. Here we go. It's looking like it's ready for me to take a look at. So here is your deck for editing, okay? So here's what the editing slides uh, page looks like. And I'm gonna walk you through a few of these things here. So this is gonna be to edit the current slide. These are your slide notes. It's very straightforward, there's nothing really to it. You know, when you're presenting in front of people, you can rely on your notes that you take in PowerPoint. Here you can do the same, and it's, all of this will transfer over to the PPT file that you can open with Microsoft PowerPoint. And here we go. Then you can come into the design and change the theme if you really wanted to. You want to change your font, your color palette, anything you'd like. And then you can go ahead and add a new slide if you want. But let's go ahead and take a look at what it's given us so far. Okay. AI and cybersecurity, protecting corporate information in the digital age, demonstrating how AI can enhance cybersecurity measures and protect against risks and threats. Welcome to the presentation on AI and cybersecurity, where we explore how artificial intelligence can be used to protect corporate information. See, so this to me should be more of a note. So I am gonna go ahead and see how I can cut and paste it over here as a no because i think that that should be a no when you're talking to your audience it shouldn't be on that first slide this is something that you should be discussing with your audience welcome to the presentation on ai and cybersecurity, where we will explore how artificial intelligence can be used to protect corporate information in the digital age our aim is to provide insights into the latest cybersecurity risks and threats, highlight the benefits of AI and cybersecurity, and showcase real-world examples. We hope you find this presentation informative and useful. That should be a note that it's on the side, you're not showing this to the client, and then you're going to move to the next slide and see. AI and cybersecurity. Let's keep going. I just want to take a quick look at the rest of this deck here real quick before we keep moving. It also provides a Q&A session, which is awesome. Summary and key takeaways. Thank you for attending. This is all you really need for a presentation. You can add a few more slides. Uh, I believe, yeah, you'll probably need to add a few more slides. So extend it to about 30 to 40 minutes. What I really like about this is not only can you add your, your slide notes here, you can change, you can edit, your PowerPoint presentation here, you can also rehearse. This little tab right here, this little icon showing rehearse. I really like this. I'm gonna get to that in a second. Let's take a look at the slide settings here. I just wanna make sure I'm okay with all that being disabled. Now, once you completed your presentation, you have to practice, right? So cool thing about desktop is is that it has this little rehearse feature here this little rehearse option which i'm going to show you so once you're done you go ahead and click it and then you go ahead and start re rehearsing let's say you have 30 minutes to rehearse you can actually change the time up top here to start practicing your slides and rehearsing if you need to make sure that it's done within 30 minutes you can go ahead and click play and start rehearsing AI and cybersecurity, protecting corporate information in the digital age, defending your data with AI powered security measures. But remember when you needed to take some notes in your slide, you have those notes to fall back on. They're right up at the top here, show slide notes. And here, that's as simple as it is. You can add notes here as you're going, um, or you can just continue with your slide and introduction. And here are those notes that I copied and pasted earlier. Okay, it's as simple as that. It's clean, it's useful, it's friendly, it's it's everything you need in a presentation builder, correct? Once you're done rehearsing or take this to Microsoft, all you really have to do is come here. Either you can download it as PDF, which is pretty cool. Tome does this as well, but this 
is the piece of the puzzle that is missing. So download the PPT. PPT is a PowerPoint presentation, it's deck. So you're gonna go ahead and download anyway. Now it says right here, the PPT file will be ready in minutes. You will be notified here. And we just wait another couple minutes, if that, 30 seconds, and it will be ready to download. And we'll go ahead and use it. And that is it. Once your file is ready, just go ahead and download it. We're going to go ahead and add that to one of those folders. And here you have it. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And here is your PowerPoint presentation straight in Microsoft. No copy and pasting needed, saving you more time than you saved before. And you're ready to go, ready to go ahead and give this presentation um, to everybody in your office. <laughs> Simple as that, not too long, not too time consuming, and it's probably gonna save you weeks of headaches and frustration. <laughs> Again, let me know what you think of this one here in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and always thank you for watching.